Hey everyone, Kevin here. What I'd like to do in this video is give you some advice about choosing a PSU, a power supply unit for your computer. This is actually quite a difficult thing to look for when you're building your own PC for the first time. There's a lot of misinformation out there and you can actually be bombarded with all the different options out there. There's a lot of companies out there and each company offers different PSUs at different wattage, but they also offer many different types of power supply units at the same wattage. The example I've got here is Evga. The reason I chose Evga is because that's what I bought recently. And you can see when you type in Evga 850 watts, this will show all the Evga 850 watt power supply units. But you can see there's many different versions. You've got the P2 there, the G2, the G3, the GQ, the 750, that's 750 watts actually. Um, the 850 etc, the titanium. Now you will notice that the prices are different as well and the reason that these are all priced differently is because well mainly it's due to efficiency. There's some slight differences as well for example Evka have got two, they, they do power supplies at the same wattage and the same efficiency but the one has got a 130 millimeter fan instead of a 140 millimeter fan and they use different ball bearings but by and large when a company is selling multiple power supplies at, at the same wattage it's because of efficiency so if you type in PSU efficiency into Google you'll see lots of graphs uh, and I don't want to bombard you with the kind of technical side with efficiency but what I do want to talk about is this um, kind of configuration this naming scheme that they've got related to power supplies you'll see here bronze silver gold platinum and titanium and you'll notice here that the, the platinum and the titanium ones tend to be uh, more expensive so it's all it's all about efficiency and if you look over here at 230 volts the bronze uh, at 20 percent load is 81 percent efficient 100 percent load is 81 percent efficient and what that means is of the all the wattage it's taking from the power supply at 100% load it would be taking say 850 watts for an 850 wattage PSU of the, that 850 watts only 81% of it would actually go to your computer 19% of it would be like heat and it wouldn't be going to your PC you can see the silver is 85% at 100% and then gold is 88% platinum is 91% and it's the same here at 100% for titanium, but you can see at 50% load, it's a little bit more efficient there, 96 instead of 94. And at 20% load, which for a lot of people, that's how the, their computer remains most of the day. It's just kind of ticking over and it's not being pushed. That one, uh, the titanium is at 94%. But again, if you go back to pricing, 850 watts, the titanium one there is 190. And something like the G2, uh, which is the kind of one I've got is down at 130. So yes, you will be paying a lot more money to get titanium and you will be getting a more efficient PSU. But whether that trans whether that's a smart decision or not, it really depends on what you're doing because if you've got uh you know your PC running 24 hours a day and it's being pushed at 100 watt, you know, 100 percent wattage all the time, then it makes sense to jump up and get the titanium and, and the, the platinum. But for most people, they don't use a computer that way. They switch it on for a couple of hours, they turn it off. And even if you're gaming all the time, eight hours a day, you know, the rest of the time it's switched off or it's idle. So, you know, you need to think about that because from an efficiency point of view, you maybe, it might take you 10 years. If you only use your computer eight hours a day, it might take you 10 years to actually recoup the difference you've paid for the more expensive watch room. So most people, if you look in uh, websites like PC part builder, the most common one is gold. And I would say that gold, platinum, and titanium are what most people would recommend. So I would say go for gold. And then if you are using your computer more often, if you're using it 10, 12 hours a day, you know, 24 hours a day, if you've got it on all the time, you might be want to look at the more expensive options like titanium. So when you're looking, this is this whole section about this, the key thing to remember here is you will see bronze and silver and gold and it really remates, uh, relates to this scheme. The more expensive it is, generally the more efficient it is when it's bronze, silver, gold, etc. So, that out of the way, how do you work out how much wattage you need? Well, all you have to do is type into your Google search engine, etc. Type in power supply calculator and you will find 
many power supply calculators. This is what this one's quite good. I quite like this one. Um, and you also get ones from the companies who actually produce them. This is one from Evga. You'll get them from Corsair, from Be Quiet, etc. as well. Um, and really all you're doing is putting in what components your PC will have, and this will give you an estimation of what wattage you will need, what PSU you will need for your computer. Um, it's worth bearing in mind though that all of these calculators, they will give slightly different results, and it really is just to give you an indication of what you should get. The only true correct way to really test a, a, a computer's wattage and, and its power requirements would be use some sort of a power meter and these kind of things uh, are like hardware they retail for a few hundred dollars and i don't think they're for most people they're really for people that are you know working in companies etc not for home users so what i'll do is i'll put in a um, i'll put in what i've got in my computer here and it'll give you an idea of how this works so I have got one 8700K, uh, and you can see there's an option there to uh, increase the speed. So this is the default speed, this is a, the, the stock speed, but say I was overclocking it, maybe I want to bring it up to 4900, this would require more power. CPU 90%, I've actually got two 16 gigabyte modules, and right now, as we speak, I have got a 1080 Ti, I'll just leave that, in fact, well my this um, 1080 Ti, you know, it, it kind of runs about 1560, 70, but you can overclock it all the way up to 1800. The more you clock that, the more you overclock your CPU or your, or your graphics card, you will be using more wattage, so you need a more powerful PSU. Um, storage, I have got two M2 SSDs. Keyboard mouse. I've got about five USB 3.0 devices. I've got two 120 millimeter fans, four 140 millimeter fans, and there's lots of other things there as well. You can see I've got one monitor now. A monitor is powered, but it will there could be drawed. There will be some power drawed, you know, when it's connected. Not much, very little. It's kind of pointless. Um, and say I've got it on 24 24 hours a day, and it's intensive. So they're recommending PSU wattage of 588 watts. And I've got this. I've got the Evka 650G2, which is perfect for what I need right now. But I'm actually going to replace this. I've ordered it. And the reason I'm replacing it is because I'm getting a second graphics card. And when you do that, if I... I'll do that to show you. I've got another graphics card, 1080 Ti. So you can see here right now, uh, 588 watts. Calculate again. Now I've jumped up to 853 watts, and now they're recommending a 1,000 or 1,200 watt PSU. So they're recommending PSU wattage of 853. And you can see here, um, it gives you an idea of your, your uh, PSU efficiency. So, you know, in the UK, say I'm about 14 pence, say, uh, per kilowatt hour. If I went for, um, this is... PSU efficiency, so if your power supply has a 90% efficiency, say it's gold level, I'd be paying that per year if my computer was on 24 hours a day with two graphics cards. If I go up to platinum and titanium, I could be saving money. So I could be saving money there. Um, but as you can see, that's 171 pounds. That's 387 with a 1200 or 1600 watt there. And it's, t it's giving you an idea of the payback period. And this is again what I said. If you opt for a more efficient PSU, you really don't need to justify it. Is your computer on all the time? Are you overclocking? Uh, well, you know, dictate whether you go for a higher wattage, but efficiency is really related to how often your computer's on. So, um, it's the same idea with Evcar as well. They've got the same calculator. This one's a little bit simpler. Um, 1080 Ti, I've got a Z370, 700K. To, so you can see that this, this one's a little bit more basic. I won't overclock it this time. So then what they do here is they recommend the PSU. Clearly they're only recommending their own uh, products. And there's lots of different ones here. You can um, go through them all and see which one uh, suits you the best. Now there's another thing to kind of look at. For example, here... Uh, th this one here, the 650G2, has two VGA ports, but with two graphics cards, I actually need four VGA ports. So, for example, if I went to this one, 
the T2, which is the titanium one. This is one of the more expensive ones. Um, you can see this has four VGA ports, so it, that would power two powerful graphics cards. So it is kind of difficult to understand that at the beginning because you don't know what you're looking for. But if you've got a 1080 Ti, for example, what's you know the most powerful one out just now as I record this, that generally requires generally requires two VGA ports, and you can see this has got four, so that easily powers. Uh, two graphics cards. There's other way around it though. You can power two with just two ports. That you can do that, but you have to buy other cables. And um, so I don't want to bog you down too much with that. Uh, another useful website, PC Part Picker. Uh, it's, you know, you can go to your region if you want to do it. But there's lots of guides here, and it's a fantastic website for building your own website. Uh, building your own computer. Sorry. Because what you do is you just put in all the parts that you want uh, and then it will tell you the recommended wattage. So you can see here, estimated wattage here, 369 watts. So um, for the power supply, they've opted for a 550 watt power supply. Um, and see something like, okay, so this one's a little bit more powerful. This one is 444 watts and they've opted for a 650 watts one. So PC Part Picker is a very useful website because you can go on and you can create your own custom build, you know, and just put in all the details and it'll tell you what the estimated wattage is. So this will, it's maybe a little bit better than the calculators, but you can also look at similar PCs, look at what other people have built, um, sorry, completed builds. So you can look at what other people have built. This will give you an idea of what to buy yourself and you can also see what power supply they've bought. And sometimes, you know, people will explain um, they'll, they'll add a description about why they bought a PSU, you know, a particular PSU, and what they did differently. Maybe they would buy a more powerful one, maybe they'd buy a cheaper one. So, hopefully you guys have found this video useful, but the, the takeaway from this is when you're looking at a PSU, you will see lots of different prices. Um, what it, once you've found out your wattage and you, and you figure out, okay, I probably need, um, you know, an 850 or a 1000 watt or a 650. Um, th these are for more powerful computers. I think, you know, if you've not got a really powerful graphics card, a 650 or 550 is more than enough. When you're using more powerful graphics cards and you've got multiple graphics cards, you need the more powerful PSUs. But once you've figured that out, once you know what wattage you've got using one of these calculators, then you can go to Amazon or wherever you're buying it from and you can then get a better understanding of, okay, that one's only five pounds more expensive. It might be worth the upgrade. Um, like for example, this one here, because prices go up and down. This is, you know, this is the nature of things. Prices go up and down. Here you've got the gold at eight fifty watts. Here you've got the platinum. Now, I, I haven't looked at these, so I don't know if there's any other differences. But just say they are the same. I'm not sure if they are, but say they are the same. Going up from gold to platinum for five pounds is actually quite a good. Uh, it's a bit of a bargain. I would say that would be worth it. Uh, from an efficiency point of view. But you do need to look at each individual model, go to the website, see what ports they've got, see what efficiency they quote, see what the warranty is, and look more into it. It does require a lot of research, it really does, uh, and, and it will surprise you how much time you will spend looking at reviews, looking at what you need, etc. But if you take anything from this video, it would be that, remember uh, about this, just type in PSU efficiency and you'll see graphs and examples of you know a uh, power units and how efficient they are at different uh, different loads and you know how efficient a gold or a titanium is at a, a, a specific load and also look at power supply calculators to help you work out what wattage uh, you will need in your pc you know what wattage you'll be using as i said i bought the fk 650 g2 it is a fantastic a PSU. I'm very, very happy with it, but because I've opted for a second graphics card, I need to upgrade and I'm going to opt for a thousand watt one. Um, so try and plan ahead if you can. If you think that you're going to be adding another graphics card or maybe you don't have a graphics card just now, but you're going to save up and get one in a year's time or six months time. Think about that. Spend a little bit more money in the beginning for a more powerful PSU. If you think that in six months or a year or two, you will use it because it will save you having to replace your PSU at a later time, which is what I'm doing. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys have found this useful. If you've got any questions, please do leave them below and I'll do my best to answer them. And until next time, take care.